It'll be anything but a happy new year for Melbourne's public transport users with fares set to rise from March. Commuters are less than impressed with the hikes coming despite persistent problems with the system. Ticket to ride, fare hikes derailing the government's pre-election promise to reduce the costs of living. Today uh, we're announcing an increase in public transport fares, uh, an average of 3.1%. From March 12, the cost of daily fares will increase, though the MyKey system will be slightly cheaper. The contract that we have with the operators uh, deems that they receive a CPI increase. The opposition claims there's no contractual requirement. Low-income earners, uh, students, are being hit with a two-hour concession fare of something like 5.9% increase. Commuters aren't impressed. We've still got significant problems on the train network with reliability. We've got slow trams, we've got buses that don't connect properly. I'd rather spend the money on petrol and drive it. That it'll probably make it a bit harder for people. But the ticketing pain may yet worsen. Flagged increases in 2012 and 2013 could see fares rise by as much as 15%. The new government now promising to review pricing. They're having a review into everything. The next thing we'll hear is a review into the number of reviews. Also up for review, timetabling, which could cause more headaches. Alan Rascal, 7 News.